Welcome again. Right now we are at Luke chapter 23 verses 6 through 12. This is where Pilate sends Jesus to Herod. Let's read it. When Pilate heard Galilee mentioned, he asked if the man was a Galilean. When he found out that he was in Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem during those days. Now when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad, for he wanted to see him for a long time, because he had heard many things about him. He hoped to see some miracle done by him. He questioned him with many words, but he gave no answers. Let me stop here for a second. You know, this is one thing you notice in the scriptures. The scriptures, a lot of times it doesn't give you all the detail, a lot of detail, but it does give you hints, okay? So Herod questioned Jesus with many words. What those words were, we do not know. But we know that it, he, he spent a considerable amount of time asking Jesus questions. And it says that Jesus didn't give him any answers. Hmm, very interesting. Let's read on, verse 10. The chief priests and the scribes stood vehemently accusing him. Herod with his soldiers humiliated him and mocked him. Get that. Herod with his soldiers humiliated him and mocked him. Dressing him in luxurious clothing, they sent him back to Pilate. Herod and Pilate became friends with each other that very day, for before that they were enemies with each other. So a lot of things happen when Jesus is in the picture. You've got people who were enemies, uh, they become friends. Herod here seems to be a lot more wicked than Pilate was in a sense, okay? Herod, it said, mocked him and, and, uh, and humiliated him, or it doesn't say that Pilate did. Right off the, I mean, at least at the beginning, Pilate said that he doesn't see anything, uh, any reason to accuse Jesus. There's nothing wrong with Jesus. Whereas Pilate, he really just made a mockery of him. I always remember when you get Jesus in the scene, a lot of things turn upside down. You got enemies that turn to be friends, and you got friends that turn out to be enemies. So don't forget that Jesus changes things, okay? As you go and as you seek the Lord with all your heart and all your soul, all your strength and all all your mind, may he be found by you and call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Remember, make your heart pure before him because he listens to the prayers of the righteous as it says in Psalms, okay? So always walk in repentance. Always walk, you know, in that, in that state of being right with God. And, uh, and God will honor that. So thanks again for listening and God bless.